Hey guys, thanks for checking out Rich's Methods. Today on my channel, I'm going to show you how to connect a battery powered motor to the balsa wood airplane. I originally showed you how to make this balsa wood airplane um, a few months ago. I'm going to have a hyperlink to that video in the upper right corner of your screen. This is a 24 inch wingspan plane. The propeller that I connected was an 8 inch uh, diameter. Uh, you might want to get a propeller that's a little bit larger than the one I show in this video that will work a lot better with this uh, size plane. However, this one is just fine. Anything you can find in a toy store or hobby store should be okay as long as it's relatively in the 8 to 10 inch size. Uh, you'll also notice that this is a blue propeller and the tutorial I show you and uh, I show how to put the plane together with an orange propeller. I broke that propeller when I was outside playing with it uh, before I could show you the final product. That's why these are different colors. To show you how it works, this is pretty cool. There's a toggle switch here, it turns the propeller on, and you can simply shut it off then when you're done playing with it. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how to put this together right now so that you can start enjoying your battery powered balsa wood airplane. All you need to do is get the balsa wood airplane that I showed you in my original video. I'll have it hyperlinked in the upper right corner of your screen. Um, and it's a nice little project you can do on your own. If you want it to fly even further, you can add an electric motor to it. I bought an electric or battery powered motor at Radio Shack. I think this was around $3. Uh, they have a variety of these, but I stayed with the smallest one that they had. Um, and this is around $3. You're also going to need to have to get the battery pack. This is going to be powered by two AA batteries, so you need a battery pack that will hold two AA batteries. And this is it. It's just a simple box with just two wires coming out of it. And we'll be connecting this to the electric motor. Um, and this was also around $3. You're also going to need, well, you don't really need this, but I thought it'd be a fun little trick to add on to the plane. This is a toggle switch, and that way you can use this to turn the propeller on and off as you're using it. So I'll add that real quick. It's only around $3. I thought it'd be a nice little uh, addition to the plane. The propeller itself, uh, you might have to look around at toy stores or hobby stores. I was able to find this thing called a Wacky Whirler. I know it's kind of crazy sounding. This was only $0.99, cents, um, and pretty much it's one of those old-fashioned uh, propellers and what you're going to have to, what it originally was supposed to be for is it would fly away, <laughs> as you can see, there, now it worked. And what I thought was, being that this is already a propeller, this would be a great thing to add on to the end of the motor uh, simply by pushing it on and then it'll act as a propeller for the plane. So let me zoom in on all this here and uh, we'll get started. It's a real fun project, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so first I'm going to glue the battery pack onto the balsa wood airplane. Uh, make sure you use the back of the battery pack, not the front, because the front is where you have to unscrew it to, let the to get the batteries in the pack. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the back here. Actually, I'm going to put a lot, because I want to make sure this stays on there, especially after uh, you're flying the plane and it crashes. So I'm just going to add a little bead here, just so I can get it on there at the center of the uh, battery pack. And let's put that on. And you want to put this right at the edge of the battery of the uh, plane because this will be this will be like the weight now at the end of the balsa wood plane. And I'm just going to hold that down, let that solidify, and I'm going to put a bead going down the edge here. The battery pack is on; it's, it's solidified. It's on there pretty good. I'm going to cut this red wire in half. That way I can stick the toggle switch in between. That'll turn the uh, propeller on and off. I'll use my handy uh, wire strippers here. I'm just going to cut it halfway down and then I'll strip the ends and I'll reconnect it, the toggle switch in between. So we have our toggle switch here. You can see it just turns on and off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the one end, one of these prongs to this red here. Make sure that there's no um, stray strands that are you know sticking out that might cause problems later on and we're going to twist that around there and then I'm going to connect it to the part that's actually on the plane might even bend this a little bit out of the way okay now next I'm going to glue the toggle switch onto the battery pack and I'm going to keep it near the um, the where the engine is going to be or where the motor is going to be the motor is going to be going right here in the front. So if you can imagine, the motor will be here. I think we should put the toggle switch right about, about like an inch back. I'm just going to hot glue that on, okay? Like so. And I might even add a little bit of hot glue underneath the switch here 
I might even put some underneath there right by the battery pack just to make sure it's on there real well. All right, next I'm gonna glue the motor actually onto the plane. And what I did was before I did all this, I tested the motor to see which way I want the propeller to go. And uh, when I put the propeller on here, I want the propeller to spin so I feel the air blowing this way, going that direction over the airplane. That way it pushes the airplane forward just like a propeller would. And what I found was that on the back here there's actually a positive and a negative. Um, and they're really, really tiny. You can't see it on camera, but there's actually a negative sign. And you want the red wire to be on the negative side and the black wire to be on the positive side. Uh, they're not different colors or anything like that. The wires are obviously, but on the uh, motor these are both like a brass color. Um, but you want to put the red on the negative and the black on the positive and that will spin the propeller in the right direction that you need it to go. Also to connect the propeller, I don't know if you can see here in the middle, there's a little hole in the middle here. I used a Dremel to drill a hole right in the center of the propeller and it was easy to figure out because of this connection piece here. I just eyeballed it and seen where the center was. Used the Dremel to drill a small hole that was just a little bit smaller than this prong coming out of the motor. That way when I stick it into the propeller it actually has a good friction, it has a good feel so it doesn't come off right away. And what we're going to do is we're going to put some super glue on the inside here. If you don't have a Dremel, uh, you probably could use beings that this plastic is pretty thin or depending on what propeller you find out at the toy stores. Um, you might be able to use like a, a safety pin or some sharp instrument to push through. Just be careful, don't you know hurt yourself. But uh, you should be able to just to push your way through that uh, just with like a sharp instrument. But a Dremel or an electric drill would work just great real quickly just to you know put that hole in there. All right, so next we're going to glue the motor onto the balsa, onto the plane just like we were doing the other parts. Okay, so that's glued on now. And also just to make sure, make sure you orient the motor that these prongs that these prongs are next to you know the wires because here I have the red wire make sure that that negative prong is near the red wire when you put it on if not you'll have to take this motor back off and turn it around so that it's on the right side just to, you know just a fair warning okay so next I'm going to connect the wires to the motor um, simply I'm just going to thread it through the hole that's actually on the prong itself and that's pretty simple I'll just twist the wires and I'll put a bit a little bit of hot glue on there just to hold it on there Okay, so there we go. I have the glue now on there. I'll let that solidify a little bit. And what we're gonna do next is connect the propeller to the motor. Again, remember I made that hole with the Dremel and I'm just gonna slip that right on. Make sure that this isn't all the way back against the motor um, because if it is, it won't spin properly. So make sure that you can spin it. It seems like it's pretty clear of the rest of the plane. So it's spinning uh, pretty freely. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of some hot glue into the center of the propeller here just to hold it in just to hold it in place. Okay, so everything is glued on. I put a piece of tape around here. Try not to make it too thick because you're gonna have to get into this battery compartment every once in a while to change the batteries. I just put that on there. That way when this does like land, it doesn't, you know, everything doesn't come apart. But I'll just show you, you just turn this toggle switch on here and the propellers work. Um, of course, the larger the propeller that you use, the, the more force that it'll generate. Um, so maybe if you could find something that maybe was like an inch longer than this uh, might work even better, but I think this is going to work pretty well. So let's take this outside and see how it works.